As we near the end of Pac-Man month here on Classic Game Room, I present to you one of the best versions of Pac-Man that I have played in what I consider to be the best Namco Museum release, the Namco Museum 50th Anniversary Edition for the Nintendo GameCube, which has one of the best lineups of Namco arcade games that you'll find anywhere, and this game is super dirt cheap for the GameCube. I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you going to my friend Chris from Jersey City. Wait for it. New, New Jersey. Jersey! Thank you, Chris, because not only does this have several of my favorite games like Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Xevious Galaga, and Galaxian, but it has the incredibly underrated Lock off. Bosconian, one of Namco's greatest games that you rarely hear about. A lot, a lot. It's worth getting this disc for Bosconian alone, and hey, Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man come along for the ride, because they also like Bosconian. It's that good. But wait, there's more. You've also got the cool Sky Kid, another Namco classic you don't hear much about. It's on the Switch release. Obviously, you get Galaga. Pole Position 1 and Pole Position 2, although the controls are really touchy, once again, uh, same as the Dreamcast release. I think you really want to wheel for the arcade game, uh, the arcade version of Pole Position. I'm not sure I've ever actually played this version of Pole Position 2. I grew up with it on my Atari 7800 and love it. Here we've got the almighty Rolling Thunder. You can never go wrong with some Rolling Thunder in your life. Where do you go from there? How about some Lady Pac-Man? Both of the Pac-Man games play well, but the GameCube's D-pad is a bit small, so it requires some practice. Terrific versions of both Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man on here. And you can also unlock Pac-Mania, which is not one of my favorite. Pac-Man's, but Mappy is one of my favorite video games featuring a police mouse that steals radios and opens doors. I don't actually know what's going on in this game, but I love Mappy. And so will you when playing it on your GameCube. What's that? Mice don't breathe fire. Well, at least not in Mappy they don't, but dragons do in Dragon Spirit. A hard as nails vertical scrolling dragon shooter that has a lot in common with Xevious. It's also just insanely difficult and very cool to find in this collection. Namco Museum 50th Anniversary was also released for the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox, but sadly not the Dreamcast. Which saddens me, because I would love to play Bosconian on the Dreamcast. It's one of my Namco favorites, as is Pac-Man, of course. 
celebrating Pac-Man Month in honor of my Pac-Man Collector's Guide, a definitive review on Amazon. And yes, there's still more Pac-Man to come, like Pac-Man 2 from Entex, the handheld version of the game. And Pac-Man of Duty 3, Ghosts Hyper Edition Alpha Turbo Remix 7, B-Spec, The Demo. It's on the 32X. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by Ultramassive Video Game Console Guide, Retro Mega Treks, How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, Pac-Man Collector's Guide, a Definitive Review, and Ultramassive, Volume 2, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a Turbo Volcano! Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.